तो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ इज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर देश पांडे वी आर यर टूडे टू लर्न हाउ टू एक्साइन कार्डियो वेस्कुलर सिस्टम I hope you know everybody that this is a part of your syllabus. You are all the students of MD first year. MD first year students have the syllabus where they have the examination of cardiovascular system, pulse examination, blood pressure examination, ECG etc. So I thank for this volunteer who have come for here for the demonstration purpose. Actually, you must remember that when we want to examine the heart, that means cardiac and vessels, that means. But before that, there is, are some prerequisites. You must be aware of the pulse of the patient. Of course, this is not a demonstration, but as everybody knows, this is what we do the pulse examination. The first thing you must understand while examining any patient, you must stand on the right side of the patient, always. In your dispenser, in your clinic, you should be on the right side of the patient. So, pulse examination is done with the three fingers index, middle, and ring finger. Okay? So, you must examine the pulse, then you must take the blood pressure. Huh? We know that blood pressure, how to take it? Don't take it. We know that how to take the blood pressure. Then, another important feature, for example, clubbing of the fingers, you have to check over here. Clubbing is nothing but a swelling of the soft tissue over here. They look like a knob, like the drumstick. Extreme clubbing is called as a drumstick appearance. And clubbing is a finding of cardiac and the pulmonary problems. Then we have to see the cyanosis. Central cyanosis, there are, you can show me tongue. Tongue dakwa, jib dakwa. So here you can see the central cyanosis, that is a bluish discoloration. And this cyanosis indicates the hypoxic condition, that means the low level of the oxygen. Basavaj, which instrument nowadays we use to check the oxygen? quantity in the blood. Pulse oximeter. Right. Pulse oximeter that we put over here and we can get immediate reading. But we must check the cyanosis in the heart patient. So clubbing is there, cyanosis is there. Then you must look for the edema. Basically edema can be seen on the legs over here, like pretty edema. But cardiac edema is more over on this foot region. That is called as a pedal edema. In the swelling there are two types. One is here you can see sometimes the swelling that is called as a periorbital swelling. Huh? This one around eyes. Periorbital swelling indicates you the kidney problem. Pedal edema indicates you the heart problem. So, can you understand the difference? This is the thing. And the last thing is you must see if there is any pulsation over your neck veins, which also indicates that there is a congestion. This is very common in the patients of CCF, congestive cardiac failure. So these, what we have talked about just now, pulse, BP, clubbing, cyanosis, pedal edema, this should be done before starting the actual examination of the heart. Is it clear for everybody? Just few days back, I have given you also the dictation, which are the points for the examination of cardiovascular system. In Ayurveda, it is mentioned as darshana, sparshana, and pressure. So, darshan, what is the modern science? Inspection. To see by your eyes, that is inspection. When I say sparshana, here, sparshana, what in modern pathology they say? Palpation and percussion. That's right. Even I can say what I do with the auscultation, it is also a touching of the stethoscope. So, that should be also included in the sparshana pariksha. And last is also importance of history taking. Now let us start with the inspection. So we have to inspect. Which thing we have to inspect? First thing is a precordium. Precordium. What is precordium? This is the area of the chest in front of the heart. So these areas are called as a precordium. We have to check the symmetry, whether they are equal or not. We have to see whether there is any pulsation like this. Huh? So precordial. And the last is also we have to see whether it is a protruded, bulging, this area, bulging or retracted. So is there any inside pathology is there? So now I will look for the precordial. But here you can see both the sides, right and left, are symmetrical. 
there are no pulsations and the next thing is there is no bulging and there is no depression okay so this is end of the precordial inspection now we will go for apex bit apex bit is nothing but a cardiac impulse we have to look where the pulsation we can see actually in this particular camera it is very difficult to check out these pulsations in very cachexic patient you can see the pulsation but in a normal individual it is very difficult to find out this cardiac impulse apex bit is nothing but the cardiac impulse it is the lower and outermost part lower side and outermost part why it is coming because the tip of the ventricle is in contact with this wall and this impulse is conducted through this ventricle to see you like inspection so but remember for examining for inspecting apex bit there is another criteria it should be seen tangentially this is a new word tangentially so this level i have to go on the side and i am checking whether there is a pulsation yes i can see the pulsation over there so this is normal phenomena then i have to go at the down side from below tangentially from side tangentially from below and i can see little bit pulsations there at the apex bit and i find this apex bit a little bit below this nipple okay so i can mark this area like over here this is the apex bit that i have found out by inspection but it should be confirmed by palpation also next thing why we are seeing a tangentially because these pulsations are up down movements and it cannot be seen like this it should be seen by the same level tangential this is the important part of inspection the third thing about inspection you have to see the other area also like for example supra sternal area for any pulsation here you can get a carotid pulsation that is physiological then you have to see over here also whether there are any pulsations this is epigastric area and here also you get physiologically pulsation because of the descending abdominal aorta what is the part descending abdominal aorta so these two pulsation carotid and aortic pulsations are normal then we have to see any neck vein pulsation or neck vein engorgement it is not there rather it should not be there so by inspection i am confirming that there are no neck vein pulsations is it clear so we have finished with the inspection we have checked precordial we have checked apex bit and we have checked the pulsations outside the precordial now we will go further for the palpation palpation is touching with your flat part of your hand that is palm so we can do palpation by like this touching on the apex bit then also you can check with this ulnar border of palm first is flat of the arm then ulnar border of the arm and then tip of the fingers here i can see pulsations to my hand this is palpation so palpation is done in a three ways flat of the hand then ulnar border of the hand and then tip of the fingers here you must remember in some patients it cannot be seen and also cannot be palpated this apex bit why can anybody tell me one reason correct obese or muscular if there is a lot of fat lot of muscles then you cannot see then you cannot palpate second reason may be it may be behind the ribs it is not in the intercostal space it is behind the ribs so we cannot observe it third is emphysematous chest when there is a lot of air inside you cannot observe it and the fourth one for the ladies especially if the lady has a pendular breast so also you cannot inspect or palpate the apex bit then what should you do it is very simple you have to ask the patient to sit lean forward and then you can palpate so we have we can ask the patient to sit lean forward and palpate this is one method and second you can ask to turn on the left side kare tarah ke bazu wala pin chhna and here this is the main left lateral position then also you can palpate the apex bit thank you 
so this completes the palpation of the apex bit it is a confirmation of the findings of the your inspection then next is the percussion in the percussion we have to mainly check the left border of the heart and right border of the heart remember left and right border left border is more important because it is formed by the left ventricle and this is the main part of the heart which is responsible for pumping then you have to check the right border and inferior border although we are not checking inferior border is formed by the right ventricle this is left ventricle this is right atrium and this is right ventricle but here in the percussion we only check the left border and the right border of the heart how to check this left border how to mark it apex bit we have marked now we have to start the tapping this is actually the right, right place is fifth intercostal space here how we get the spacing this manubrium sternae this attached rib is called a second rib below that second rib this is a second intercostal space then third rib third intercostal space then fourth rib fourth rib. fifth rib fifth intercostal space so this is the line of the fifth intercostal space then you can make a percussion like this it is not very clear you cannot hear but this is where you get a dull note so i am getting the dull note first dull note over here from the resonant to the dull note this is the first thing that means here the cardiac dullness has been started now you have to go one rib up again from lateral to medial this axillary line is there here i am getting the dull note so i have marked the second point over here again one space up again coming from the here the change is there so this is the third point so joining this one two three this can become the your left border of the heart actually right border is coming on the below of this right sternum so to mark this more precisely you can first find out the dullness liver dullness on this right side so for this i am coming with each intercostal space here here i have seen that there is a dullness this dullness comes because of the liver which is situated over here then i have to go one step up of course from this mid axillary line to the medial side here the change is there so this point i have to mark then here this point as i have marked here change is there so these all the points if i join it like this this can be your right border of the heart so with the percussion method i have marked the left and right border and now comes the last point of examination that is auscultation for the auscultation we have to use the stethoscope we auscultate the heart sounds like first and second heart sounds actually the four areas first is a apex this one first is apex where the mitral area it is called as a mitral area the next is a this is the fifth fourth intercostal space just lateral to the sternum so this area is a tricuspid area this is mitral this is tricuspid then if you go up this second costal cartilage is aortic area costal cartilage and say right second costal uh, sorry left costal cartilage is called as a pulmonary area i repeat at the apex bit you get the mitral area fourth left intercostal space just touching to the sternum is the tricuspid area right second costal cartilage aortic area and left second intercostal space is the pulmonary area 
And actually, you must remember, although the names are mitral area, then tricuspid, speed, etc., valves are below the sternum. Now, I will check. But remember, by auscultation, you must put one hand on the carotid artery. Here I see the first and second heart sound. First sound is loud and second sound is little bit low. First heart sound is coinciding with this pulsation of carotid artery. Then this is the area of, I am sorry, this is first and then this is tricuspid area. Here also the first heart sound is loud, second heart sound is low. First heart sound sound is co matching, coinciding with the carotid pulse. Always remember while auscultation you must coincide with the carotid pulsation because carotid pulsation and first heart sounds they should match each other. Then I go up for the aortic area. I heard both sounds first and second but here second sound is loud and first sound is also matching with the carotid pulsations. Last is here pulmonary area. Here also I get the two sounds, first and second. First heart sound is coinciding with the carotid pulsation, but second sound is more loud. This must you understand, first heart sound is created because of the closing of the atrioventricular valves. So here both areas, first heart sound is loud. Second heart sound is created because of the closing of semilinear valves. So second heart sound is loud. I have not heard any additional sound that is the murmur on this area. By auscultating heart sounds, you get a rough idea about cardiac cycle. Because first heart sound and second heart sound, the distance is called is created because of the ventricular contraction. And from second heart sounds to the next cycle's first heart sound is a ventricular relaxation. This completes the auscultation method also. So in this 20-25 minutes program we have seen how to examine the cardiovascular system. We must pre 